Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we are going to uh, draw the image for this particular question. So we are going to draw the plan and elevation. Now plan means uh, top view and eleva elevation means the front view. Okay, so if you don't know the meanings, you should be clear with these two terms. Plan is top view and elevation is the front view. Now we are provided with one information that is uh, the point A is 25 mm above HP and is in first quadrant. So technically we have uh, everything to draw the elevation. Basically we can draw the front view using this particular information. But we are not provided directly uh, with the information of top view. Okay. So in order to do that uh, we are going to use the additional information which is the minimum distance from x y line. So we are going to use uh, this information. So use ray command and just draw the separations for top view and front view, top view and side view. Now, so we are provided with shortest distance from x y line, shortest distance from x y line. So this information is basically uh, for the purpose of drawing side view. Okay. So first thing uh, that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the front view of this particular uh, front view of this particular point. Okay. So front view it should be 25 mm above xy line. Okay. So that is the first thing that we are going to do. So let's let's draw it a little bit closer. Line command start from anywhere. It should be 25 units and press enter. So, place a point here. So, basically, this is the front view of this point. So, use mtext command, enter, specify this box, and this is the front view. So, it should be written as a dash and reduce the text height to make it 3 basically. 3 and then close the text editor. Okay, it was not. Completed. Good properties. Okay, reduce the height from here. Make it three, and then place this point here. So this is the front view that we have drawn. Now we need to draw the side view of this one as well. So in order to draw the side view, I'm going to draw a projection line like this. Now how we are going to separate these projection lines? So uh, let's increase the thickness uh, line thickness a little bit so that the lines that we are drawing for the purpose of uh, views is clear to us now our side view of this particular point point will lie on this uh, projection line itself and we are provided with uh, the shortest distance from x y line is 50 mm okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a circle using this point as the center and radius of this circle it should be 50 so basically your side view will be on this particular point okay so select a line start from this point and make this line till this point use po and press enter and this is the point or this is the side view of this point so basically you will represent it you will represent this point as a double dash side view is represented with double dash so this is the side view now we have got one more information that is this is the this should be the distance of its top view okay this is the uh, this, this uh, particular distance is the distance of uh, front view from xy line and this should be the distance of top view from xy line so you have two, uh, two options, one is you can measure this distance and then you can draw it here. Another uh, better option that I am going to use is select a line, start from this particular point and draw this line till this point and press enter. Now I am going to select this particular line, first increase the line weight, okay. Now move this line using this point as the base point and place it here so we have got this particular line and then 
rotate this line using this as the base point and this one. Now this was the line of side view, so let's increase the line weight of this one as well. Now place the point PO here. Now which point is this? This is the top view of this particular line, so it will be represented as small a. Not a dash, not a double dash, will be represented as small a. So that's how you can basically uh, you can draw these lines. Now these are all used for projections, so we can decrease their line weight. And the only things we were concerned with are these points. So let's increase the height of these points so that they are properly visible. So that's how you can draw the projection or plan and elevation of these points. Okay. So I think we moved it. Control V and then this should be A dash. Okay. Now you can delete this circle if you want. You can keep it if you want. Use trim command to remove the unnecessary items. And this is how you can draw this point. Now instead of using this circle, you can simply use uh, the polar coordinates as well. Do, just do not specify the angle. Okay. And uh, you will uh, easily draw the projections of this point. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you.